up you guys? I'm finished and today I'm gonna be reacting to City and County of San Francisco versus City and versus City and City Oh my word Citizenship and Citizenship and Immigration Civic Summary Law Case Explained by Quimby I don't know I don't know why it took me that long to read that title. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hopefully this will be quite good and awesome. I haven't reacted to a Quimby video in a long time. Anyways, guys, with that being said, the original link is down in the description. Make sure you guys can subscribe to Quimby. And yeah, with that being said, let's begin. City and County of San Francisco versus United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. We explore the circumstances under which a court may invalidate. Oh, services, not rule. civics. Federal immigration law has long provided that aliens who are likely to become public charges are inadmissible. In 1996, Congress amended the Immigration and That's Nationality true. Act, or INA, to provide that an alien is inadmissible if, in the opinion of the Attorney General or Consular Officer, that alien is likely to become a public charge. In making this determination, the Attorney General or Officer must consider the alien's health, family status, Sorry guys, if you hear that pounding in the background, people are working on the house. Oh boy. Financial status and education and skills. These non-exclusive factors are considered under a totality of the circumstances test. The INA didn't define a public charge. The Department of Homeland Security, or DHS, is tasked with administering and enforcing immigration law. In 2019, after notice and comment, DHS adopted a final rule providing that an alien's receipt of public cash benefits, such as supplemental security income and some non-cash benefits, including certain Medicaid benefits. Wow, I, I didn't know that. So basically, in, so basically, what I'm, what I'm understanding here is, in, is in all the years. In all the years, in all the years, well, in 2019, there, the public charge and Medicaid benefits are just out of the park, because Look, as you can see here, it, guys, it says, it says, detonation, so, so, they're, they're out of the park, they're out of there, and we start a new law. Was relevant to the public charge determination. Oh, determination, not of non -cash detonation. benefits hadn't been relevant before. Most comments received during the comment period were negative, including concerns that the rule would have an adverse financial impact on states. DHS responded to those comments in the final published rule. Several states, counties, and municipalities, referred to here as the states, challenged the new rule in two federal district courts. The states claimed that the rule violated the Administrative Procedure Act, or APA. The district courts preliminarily enjoined implementation of the rule. DHS asked the Ninth Circuit to stay the preliminary injunctions pending appeal. The Ninth Circuit consolidated the cases. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Possibly share with a friend. If you're new, subscribe to join the family. And yeah, this video was pretty well done. Pretty interesting, to say the least. I mean, I mean, this was a very educational lesson because, I mean, well, it's, well, this had some stuff to do with city and county of San Francisco, but 
What did it have to go with do with citizenship? I'm not quite understanding that, guys. Maybe you can help me <laughs> in the comments below. Anyways, guys, with that being said, the original link is down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>